When you watched over us last night, yes, you did. You protected us from danger, seen and danger unseen. And you blessed us and let us see another day. And we want to say thank you. Right. We thank you for right. our families. We thank you for our loved ones. We thank you for our enemies. Yes, sir. And then, Master, we know that you are God that know all things. In fact, God, you knew what was going on before it even happened. Yes, sir. So we ask you that you would just have mercy upon us. Right now, Lord. Let us know, God, that you have power to do all things, that you can change all things. But bless us and help us to keep a mind that when things are going contrary to your word, yes, sir. Yes, sir. that if we come to you with faithfulness, asking you that you would touch our hearts and you would come to our rescue. Pretty mighty, that rebel. Because, Master, there's nothing that has been done upon the face of this earth. Pretty mighty, that rebel. Go ahead. Go ahead. That you didn't know about. Yes, sir. Way back in, before we was even born, I remember when the Israelites was over in Egypt. Oh, yes, sir. And you sent your servant Moses over to the tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Yes, sir, he did. You brought them out over there. You protected them. You gave them water when they needed water. All right, all right. You gave them food when they needed food. Mm -hmm. The clothes that they had on their backs, Master, you was with them. You provided them to have it. You told them in, the, in your words that, yes, sir. that you'll fight the balance for them. Yes, sir, you did. And so, Master, we just want to say thank you for what you already done. And we thank know you. what you have already done. So be with us right now. Some of your people right now, God, they're going through some trouble times. They've never seen things like this before. Yes, sir. So we ask that you would just help them. Yes, sir. We're yes. reaching out our hands up to you. Because we know if we grab hold to your hands, yes, sir. everything will be all right. And right now we bind Satan from our midst. Right here, right here. In the name of Jesus. Before we close our prayer, we want to say thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. For what he did out on Calvary Hill. He suffered for us. He died for us. And he rose for us. And we thank you. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. And thank you, God. Amen. Let us all say amen. Amen. I wanted to look at Jude. Jude the third. Yes, sir. And I wanted to look at that one particular passage of the scriptures. Where it said earnestly. Contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. Earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. All right. And I wanted to tag this today that old time religion. Oh boy. You see, it's easy. To lose your religion. Yes. Ask the apostle Jew, the brother of Jesus, mm. just a few years after the death and the resurrection of Jesus, Jew found himself pleading with the Christians to remain faithful. Teach us here. Teach us. And many of the Christians in his day had actually. See Jesus. Yes, sir. All right. Listen to his teaching and follow him from time to time. All right. And yet, my brothers and sisters, Jude felt they needed a refresher, yes, sir. a reminder that anything worth having is worth fighting to keep. All right. All right. What causes our celebration of faith? to grow strong. 
lies of faith yes, sir. burn low, is it because we have grown complacent and content? Consider what happens when adversity challenges our comfort zone. Yes, sir. You do remember what happened a few years ago right after the 9-11. Many millions of people turn to their faith for answers. Yes, sir. In other words, large crowds of Christians they began to burn candles in the street mm -hmm. and march together in the parks. Yes, sir. And most churches were packed. My brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. every Sunday morning with the same thing in their mind. Right, right. People of all races and religions, they sought the Lord for comfort. Now, 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 let us look at the situation today yes, that we have right now. Let us look. Sometimes it's good to just look. Let us look. People all right. are getting sick. Yes, sir. And people are dying. Yes, sir. Schools have been closed. People have lost their jobs. Yes. Stores are closed and closing. Food is hard to get. Uh -huh. Churches are closed. And I come to tell us this morning, a change is on its way. All right, all right. You see, change is something that happens to everybody. Yes, uh -huh. We can have things going our way one moment and wondering what on earth will happen the next day. Yes, yes. Some changes that come to come our way, we do not see them coming until they have knocked us down. Come on, Pastor. How many bosses hmm. have been in the rain who have been sure of winning this fight? Only to be seeing a coming left hook ha. that not all of the fight out of them. Not them out. You see, in other words, what I'm telling us, my brothers and sisters, that this coronavirus yes, sir. has been throwing all of us uh, some loot, some left hooks. Yes, sir. Yes, knocking sir. some of us down. Yes, sir. And knocking some of us out. Yes, sir. But you see, but if you think about it for a moment, yes, sir. you see, the changes resulting from the coming of the virus has put us in a better position of understanding how the disciples must have felt on the resurrection day. Right? Wow. Right. You see, when things run smoothly, Make it plain, bro. When they run smoothly, we get comfortable, yes. separated from the Lord. Uh -huh. And then a crisis happens, and it's like a wake-up call. We are suddenly yeah. reminded that we all need the Lord. All right, son. So what happened is Jude, he earnestly warns us to hold on to our faith, just like I'm doing to us today. Hold on to our faith, yes, sir. the faith sir. that was delivered to the saints yes, sir. of the old and perseverance still today, shall we hold on to this old time religion? religion. Yes, sir. So the question is, uh -huh. what does this faith do for us? And all spiritual, it takes us through a, the reason. Yes, one by one. You know the song. Uh, uh, give me that old time religion. Yeah, good enough. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. You see, first of all, this old time religion, it makes us love everybody. All right, everybody. All right. We try to act like we love. Love is the most important identifying trait of a disciple. Preach that. You see, Jesus said, by this, in other words, by this love, uh, shall all men know that ye are my disciples. 
if he loves one another. One another. Yes, sir. You see, the, the disciples, they got this message. But what about us? Ha. So sometimes we, we don't do like we supposed to be doing. All right, yes, sir. Paul said that all other virtues take center place to God in love. And he said, if you have faith, the gift of prophecies and miracles and knowledge, and you can speak in tongues, but you don't have love, Amen. you have nothing to offer your fellow man. The disciples, John, the beloved disciples, he said, if God so loves us, we are also to love one another. And that rock, you know the rock I'm talking about, named Peter said, are all men love the brotherhood. Yes, it's all time religion. It makes you love everybody. It makes you render good for evil and pray for those who despise you and use you. Right. It right. will make you smile when you would otherwise frown. It will make you serve when you would quit. Yes. Sir. It will make you forgive when forgiveness makes no common sense. All right. So you love not only come on, Pastor, those who love you, uh -huh. but those who don't love you and those who don't even know you. Saint Augustine said, <laughs> "You love because God loves you." And you as if you are the only one to love. I got your lesson, boy. You see, love is not just a series of actions and expressions of compassion. Don't you see? It's not just a collection of romantic words. Right. It's not just a lifetime commitment to our spouse and our family. It's not acting like we love somebody in the church for two or three hours. And when we leave here, we get on the phone and cuss somebody out. Love is more yes, than what we say and what we do. If we still got that old time religion, love Come on now. is a core of who we are. All right, all right. The love of Christ is poured into us so we can pour it out others. So we can love that. Neighbor as I said. Now, second point. The song says, Old time religion uh -huh. was good for Paul and Solomon. Yes. Are you with me? I remember that song. To understand that, you have to read the account of Paul and Silas when they was in prison at Philippi. You see, Paul and Silas were with. And cast into prison yes, sir, for, yes, for spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, now, someone with a weak faith mm -hmm. would have given up hope. Oh, I'm going to tell you that the devil, Come he's on, carnal, he's crafty, he, he's sneaky, he, he is trying to destroy all of us, and he's trying to kill us. You see, he wants you to take your eyes off of the Lord. Uh, are you with me? All right. Now, John 10 and 10 says, the thief does not come except to steal, kill, and to kill, and, and to destroy. destroy. And he said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Paul and Silas yes, had that old time religion. All right. And you know the story of what happened at midnight. Paul and Silas, they got together, they, they began to pray, and they sang praises unto God. They sang so loud that the other prisoners heard them. Yeah, and right. suddenly, and, and the Bible said, and suddenly a great earthquake shook the foundation of the prisons, so much that all of the chains fell off the prisoners and the cell doors Everybody. was open. Situation that we in. I, I, I wonder 
in our lives. All right. It, it ought to scare you. It's scary. When people at certain places and things begin to happen, it ought to start scaring you. Preach, sir. When, 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 when we go to some of these places and we know that people will get killed and, and when we see on the television where, where, where men are driving down chasing somebody and kill them, it ought to be scared of us. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. When sickness and death comes and the closing of schools, the jobs are laying off people, people don't have no money, it ought to scare you. They got them out of prison. And when they got them out, remember what they did, they, they, they begged them. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother Savior, they begged them yes, to get out of town. You see, this is a tragic story, but it just does not go to show you what kind of faith can do for you. Uh -huh. You see, I, I don't know about you, but I take Come on, son. the old time religion any day. The yeah, one that was good for Paul and Saul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old time religion would get you out of a man fix. Yes, sir. It would give you uh, endurance in the midst of adversity. Come on, it would control you in the midst of a road. Yes, sir. It would stimulate you, Reverend Henderson, yes. uh, in the midst of the impossible. Come yes, on, give, me, give me and give us that old time religion that was good for Paul and Silas. Uh -huh. You know, that time when it used to be when we were on our way to church. Yes, uh, before we even got to church, the windows was open in the church. They didn't have our condition like we do today. Uh -huh, but you could hear those old sisters singing a song. What a fella, what a friend. Do we have the Jesus? Yes. You can hear those demons when they got up to the front of the church. On, they got man. down on their bed and knees and started calling on the Lord. Don't do that no more. You can hear that choir and they sing, uh, when all of us get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and, and shout the victory. Yes, sir. But to tell the truth, None of us are anxious to get there. Come on, Pastor. Right you want more time down here to experience God's grace and mercy for a little bit longer. Well, am I right? Yes, sir. You see, when there's no more time for the doctors or hospitals well, or tests or medicine, this old time religion would have to do. Well, it has the power to carry us. Over to the other side. In fact, I'm giving the leaders look. There is no other way to lift you up out of here and take you up to glory. In other words, what I'm saying is that you have to learn how to count on the old time religion. Yes. Am I right about it? Thing, man. You see, I'm talking about the old uh, time religion. And uh, that religion. Was good for Paul and Silas. Come on, son. It ought to be good for you and me today. Yes, sir. Am I right about it? I'm trying to get out of here, but I keep on thinking about a little David. Oh, what are you do? You remember David? David said uh, in Psalms 23. What? David said, uh, "The Lord is my shepherd." Am I right about it? You see, he said, and I shall not want. Am I right about it? David went on and he said, he made me to lie down in green pastures. Am I right about it? He said, he leads me beside the still waters. Am I right about it? He went on and he said, he restored my soul. Yes, he leads me uh, in a path of righteousness uh, for my name's sake. Am I right about it? Is there anybody here uh, that can say like David said, uh, the Lord is 
yourself I want. If you trust him, he'll walk with you. If you trust him, he'll talk with you. If you trust him, yes, he'll hold you. We trust in him. He'll mold you. Yes, sir. May God bless you. May God keep you. And remember this. Put your hands in the hands of God. And everything will be alright. No matter what happens. No matter what the situation may be. If we trust in God. Yes, sir. Remember this here when I said earlier. Things are changing. Yes, sir. Time is changing. All right. Trust God. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. It's our prayer.